All right, so white and yellow belts, we're ready to go. Here we go. I'm just gonna wait like one more minute because I think we're still one minute ahead of schedule. So I'm just gonna wait one more minute before we start. But we are gonna be doing uh, some tiwaza today. We're gonna be doing some kata today. Working out makes me need to blow my nose, so I'm just gonna do that very quickly. today is I want to add on some counters to those 10 blocks okay so we're gonna get down to our kibadachi we're gonna do um, face block but then as soon as we do the face block we're gonna punch then we're gonna do the face block on the other side and then punch then we're gonna do outside block and punch so we're not only blocking in the in order but we're blocking and countering which means we're gonna have to use the same arm twice every single time we change blocks okay so from our hachiji let's go down to our kibadachi right hand up and we're going to start off with, uh, with the first 10 only with the counters. Ready? One. Good. Now you're using that punching arm to do the other face block. Two. Good. Now we're going to do outside block. So again, the punching arm needs to come back and outside block, then punch with the other arm. Now again, outside block, then punch. Good. Now we're going to do inside block. So the punching arm, because we, we just blocked with this arm, we're going to need to block with this arm now. So inside block, punch. Good. Then other the same arm that you just punched with, inside block, punch. Good. Then we're going to do low block. So again, low block with the arm you punched with, then punch the other arm. Then other side, low block, punch. Good. Now we're going to do two punches, but remember, we just, we just blocked with this arm. So we can't punch with this arm. Now we're going to have to reset and punch, punch. And then we're going to have to reset again. Punch, chia. Nice. I know it's a little bit confusing, but we'll get through it. Okay, let's go into our hachiji. So I'm just going to explain that very quickly again. So the ten blocks go like this. I'm just going to turn around. So ten blocks go like this. Left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. But what we're doing now is we're going block left, punch. Block right, punch. Block left, punch. Block right, punch. So whichever arm you blocked with, that's the one you're focused on. The other arm just punches. So the punch is just automatic. And all I want you to keep track of is, yes, which block we're doing, but I want you to keep track of which side we're doing it on as well, right? Because when we're doing the blocks in order, it's left, right, then new block, left, right, new block, left, right. So it's the same principle, but we're just adding. So what I want you to think in your mind is left, right. And since you're thinking right, that means you need to block with your right first. Then left, right, left, right. So the punch should just be automatic, uh, after the block, okay? So, from our hachiji, let's go down to our kibarachi again, ready? Hey. <clears throat> so I'm gonna turn around, just so you can see, or maybe I'll go on an angle like this. So, left, ready? One. Right. Because you've already done the face block on the left, good. Outside block, left. Right. This is a good coordination drill that you can practice. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Ah! Nice. Up, Hachiji. Very nice. Okay, good. Now 
now we're going to go through the 18 blocks. Now, actually, uh, do you know the 27? Yeah? Okay. So, we're going to go through the 27, and uh, white and yellow belts, if you're watching this later on, um, you don't have to worry about knowing 27. White belts even know, just need to know up to 10. Yellow belts need to know up to 18. But we're going to 27 because Chris is a rock star. Okay, so let's go, let's go through the 27 blocks. Okay, we'll face, uh, I'm going to face this way. And then uh, after that, then we're, we're going to do some drills that you can work on uh, to kind of distract yourself while working on these blocks here. So let's go down to our kibanachi. Ready? Hey! Right hand goes up. So we're just going to do the no counters this time, just the 10 blocks, and then we're going to go beyond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hit up, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Hit up! And up touch G. Get together, deep breath. Back. Right on. So, um, I'm just going to analyze very quickly the blocks after 10, then we're going to go through them one more time and then I'll show you those distraction techniques. So, right, uh, so we get to 10, so 9, 10, ki. So 11 and 12, 11, punch to the side, pull the opposite elbow back, because if you just simply throw your arm across, it doesn't give you enough leverage. So you want to pull one arm back, push the other arm, and then see that twist my shoulder. So 11, 12, same thing. 13 and 14, I want to make sure that my elbow's coming back and my other elbow's coming forward. So one elbow's coming forward, one elbow's coming back, and that's hooking the punch around. And then other side, elbow punch. Just give me one second, I just have to sign somebody in. Good, so block 13, elbow back, elbow forward, 14. Elbow back, elbow forward. 15 and 16, I would like to think of combing my hair. Boom. So my, hand, and my hand's coming back, I'm combing my hair, my elbow's coming in front. So again, one elbow coming back, one elbow coming forward, but the elbow coming forward, boom, is hitting. Other side, and just think of combing your hair. Okay? 17 and 18 are the shuto, so we want to make sure that we're wrapping, striking number one, this is strike number one, and then this is strike number two. Wrap and strike. Then again, wrap and strike. So my rule of thumb is when my elbows are touching, then I'm in good shape for the shooto. If I just kind of go like this, then I know I've done nothing to prepare for the, so this is the preparation and then the strike. Preparation and strike. And when we exaggerate the movement like this, then when we become more complacent, it makes it easier to throw a proper block. Got another log in here. Okay, so that's for shootos. Shuto one, shuto two. And notice how I'm, I'm throwing the shutos in front, right? So I'm throwing the shutos in front. If you're in a back stance, yes, you're gonna wanna throw the shuto and you're gonna wanna have a narrow body and then your hand's gonna come here and your arm's gonna go there. But seeing as our target is in front of us, then we're gonna do a shuto in front and see how I'm pushing my shoulder forward and pulling my hand back to my waist, right? The hand coming back here is just so that it's a straight line if you're doing a sideways shoot though. But we don't want to do a sideways shoot though here in the, in the 27 block, we want to make sure the shoot though is going forward. Boom, my hand's coming back to here, boom. So if you're punching straight, the chamber's here. If you're punching to the side, or if you're punching here, the chamber's here in front, right? If you're punching here, which you do, you do this in some in, in some katas, you're gonna grab and strike, the punch is coming here, right? So if you're shooting to the side, but if you're going in front, you don't want to. Oh, we don't want to strike ourselves in the stomach. We want to come back to the chamber here. Okay. 
So, we're doing um, two shoot those. Good. So, shoot the one, shoot the two. Now, the claws, a lot of people will just go one, two, and then have no idea what. We're actually clawing someone in the face. So if they have glasses on or something like that, then you can rip them off. If, you, if they don't have glasses on, that's even better because you can just go right in for the face and, and scrape down. So I, yeah, exactly. Don't just go like this. I want you to go one, two, just like that. Scrape down, scrape down. Make sure that there's a, uh, a definite motion there, okay? Now the next two blocks, one, yes, is an elbow to the side. So 21 that is, 21. 22, we're grabbing in front. Now, if we're grabbing somebody's head, there's no way, especially if they're standing their ground, there's no way that we're dragging their head to our elbow. So when you throw that one block, that elbow, then you need to grab the head and you need to bring your elbow to the hand. Right? So even if I'm down in a kibarachi, boom, boom. Right? I'm bringing my elbow forward. And then boom, elbow forward. Okay? Don't go like this. One, two. One, two. Don't do that. One, and then bring your elbow forward. Two, bring your elbow forward. Okay, now number 25 and 26, we're going over the top. So over the top, this may, like you know how when we do this motion here, that's, exact mo that's the exact motion that we want here, but just with our elbow bent. Boom, because we have a little, some intent behind it, right? So someone's grabbing our shoulder here, and then what are we gonna do to defend it? We're going to, boom, come down on top of them. We could wrap their elbow up there after that. We could then palm strike to the face. There's actually a, a breakdown, there's actually a kata in, at orange belt that you come down on top of their arm if they're grabbing you and then palm strike and follow with the punch. So that's what this, boom, this block is for, over the top. Then uh, 27, X block in front, it's, it's like breaking the bear hug, right? And then elbows in behind. And the reason we do dynamic tension is because we want to practice when to breathe, how to breathe, and where to squeeze. So here, you should be squeezing, you should imagine there's a pencil stuck between your shoulders, and you need to keep the pencil there. Don't let it fall. Okay, so that's the purpose behind doing a dynamic tension, just to kind of be like, okay, this is how it should feel during and after, before, during, and after. Okay, good, so now that we've analyzed all of them, keep all this stuff in mind, even if you don't remember all of it. Remember half of it, Two moves, that's fine. Just add on each time that we kind of dissect this stuff, okay? So, kibarachi, hey! Right hand up, 27 blocks, ready? Ich, ni, san, chi, go, ro, chi, hat, ku, ju, ah, ich, ni, san, she, go, ro, she, hat, ku, ju, itch, ni, san, she, go, ro, she, ah! Nice. And come up at G. Bam. Hatch G. Awesome job. Okay, now, um, okay, now here's something that you can do to, uh, just before we move on to our cat, is here's something that you can do with a partner to help you work on your coordination and help you kind of work on your blocks because we do blocks that look beautiful. You can make blocks look as beautiful as you want, but in real life when you're throwing these blocks, it's going to look ugly. It's not going to look very good, right? So. What you can do with a partner is you can get your partner to try and touch the top of your head, you can get someone to touch your chest, or get someone to touch your stomach. And your goal is just to do an open hand block because I don't want you to boom, I don't want you to connect and hurt somebody, right? So just open hand, nice and loosey goosey, and if they try and touch you on the head, boom, block. There's nothing wrong with doing this. If you're gonna move a little bit to make sure that the block is successful, great, right? If they throw a chest, you can go this way or this way, right? Low. High, low, ba, ba. Just make sure that they're going at kind of a realistic pace. If somebody was wanting to do some damage, they probably wouldn't be going like this. Right? So just get them to one, two, three, four, five, six. You can put a metronome on. 
That way it'll give you a little bit of time to make realistic blocks. Okay, and it doesn't have to be in the right order. You can do it any way you want. Okay, so that's something that you can do after class. Okay, now, white and yellow belts, if you're watching on Facebook, I want you to go onto your uh, student portal and I want you to make sure that you log in and watch Taiku Kushiden, Han Shoden, and Shohan because those are the katas that we're going to be doing right now. Okay, so go onto your student portal and watch those three katas.